You know, the one thing I hate the most in life is bugs. They literally have no reason to exist, other than probably to make sure the planet actually functions the way it's meant to. But other than that, there's no reason for them to exist, you know what I mean? And with my hatred towards bugs, it is with great pleasure that today I'm going to be taking a giant bug, putting it under my wing against its will, and having it act as my servant to fight battles purely for my pleasure. We're playing Center Scorch today. So, Center Scorch V Max. This big boy used to be the talk of the town when it first walked in. Then it kind of just retired. You know? But we're looking back at it today, all right? With a Brilliant Stars expansion, of course, you can play it with the likes of Big Barrel. We have the obvious Magma Basin, which isn't even the core basis of the deck, but that's available. But with the Big Barrel, you can play cards like Peony and Rose in the deck, making it a lot easier to get this bad boy accelerated. Not to mention as well, Double Turbo Energy. Now, this is a bit of a point of contention because, of course, the Double Turbo will reduce your first attack to just 20 damage but after that it's a great way just to get energy into play if you want to get a quick attack off and have energy in the discard pile so i think we gotta try it out with a turbo we can't just shut it down and say no we gotta give it a go i decided to throw in some lucky ice pops in this deck just to see if we could keep this thing in the active for a little bit longer to be able to build more and more damage over time it seems to be a pretty clutch card through my testing right now can really really help you just survive that extra turn really massive stuff there this deck was partially built on stream i have adjusted it since as well so if you want to get involved in the deck building process for the decks that show up on my video go to twitch.tv slash for the win tcg and definitely leave a follow there and you can get involved on these i stream regularly there's no real set schedule because my life's a bit i wouldn't say chaotic is the word but i'm a single father things pop up you know <laughs> but with that said let's get Okay, since doing the intro, I've had a couple of realizations um, thinking about it with this deck. There were some critical cards I left out here. I've got Manaphy in the deck now. Should really be playing Manaphy. I always say play a Manaphy. I've actually taken out the pops and put in two Hyper Potion instead. Because um, that's actually more potential heal damage. And when you're playing Turbo Energy, it just works with it anyway naturally. So that's good. And if you do Hyper Potion to get a Fire Energy Discard Power, you can bring it back into play with Sentence Scorch Attack. Is that, is, that, is that a word? Big brain! And I've added two Marnie in here as well, just for some uh, some disruption as well on the opponent's side. So those are a few quick changes since I've done that intro. I, I think that's a lot more of a an, an efficient and effective way to play this deck, I think. So Okay, we're playing some water deck here. Uh, Moltres doesn't look good either, so this may be a very, very rough matchup for us, just looking at it out on the, off the bat. They did get Mulligan. Um, I'm going to uh, attach return, and I'll get energy in the discard pile. That's beautiful stuff. We can get the Bidoof down, and then we have pretty much a Barrel Peony play next turn, which is beautiful. So the Peony is really, really good for Barrel. Um, obviously, you can just search for any two trainer cards you want. And then you have a completely empty hand, allowing you to just draw to five with Barrel. So it's effectively a more effective research because, of course, the research is uh, discard draw seven. Peonies, discard, get any two trainers you want, play them, then draw five. So you're getting seven plus two playable cards. So Peony is a much more effective way to go about things. It, uh, it's a shame we have to discard um, a couple of these things here. But because we have Power Pad as well, I don't mind getting rid of the likes of bosses and stuff like that. So that's that's, that's fine by me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to obviously do this. So now Peony can get us a Magma Basin, which is good. It can get us... Um, Again, choice uh, choice but I don't think it's gonna to be too relevant in here because I don't I don't know what we're playing against yet. But I'll get it just in case. And um, we could guarantee maybe uh, oh, do you know what? I actually would prefer to take out a sobble here, so I'm gonna get a skate probe as well. And hopefully we find an energy to to ensure that. And an evolution. So we need a few cards. But taking out a sobble would be nice. I think over this Moltres, because of course, as soon as that Moltres in the discard pile, Clara, good to go. If it's on the bench, a lot harder to get moving. So we'll see how that one goes. Anyway, let's see what we get from this big barrel. Oh, we get the energy, which is not the evolution. Can Magma Base in here? Mm. There really is no harm in a Magma Base in right now, is there? It's difficult. I don't know what we're playing against. Yeah, I think we're Magma Basin. Why not? Okay. And then we'll, we'll just pass. We'll just pass. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to retreat to this and, and do a Radiant Heat. Because we don't need to. Okay. So this is the Urshi deck. Okay. All right. All right. 
So good thing I see this one through the mana fee in there because you can't disrespect these decks, bro. You can't sit here and disrespect Urshifu. It don't work like that. That's how it won a UIC. Because people just didn't didn't care enough to play the mana fees and, and, and consider the, the, the damn. Obviously, that's not the only reason. I'll, I'll make it clear. It's a blend of two incredible cards, the Urshi and the Moltres. They're two incredible cards. So to blend them together like that makes perfect sense. Really does. Um, but it's it. It's very interesting how the format is shaped right now. The um, Brilliant Stars really shook it up. And now you're seeing decks that you just wouldn't anticipate seeing in any format. Like a 22 one of deck. That kind of goes against the whole concept of consistency in the TCG. But that's all because of this bad boy. You know what I mean? All because of these Drizzles. You can play 22 one offs if you can find them at any point. You know? Just like evolve. Okay. Let me just see what I've got. Love, lovely. Take that. Oh, we ain't got that one as prize. All right, I'll do this. A nice alternative. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 interesting. It's interesting, but it, I guess it just really goes to show the pure power. It's the pure power of the Intellion engine. It really does, and uh, it's going to be very interesting when it when it leaves. That's for sure. All right, so we've got another escape rope, which is nice. I like that at least. And I, honestly, I don't mind doing a peony here again because we can just guarantee the center scorch, right? Let's see what they put up. I'm interested to see what they're going to throw up here. A Sobble. So they've got a Drizzle. In, they've got, they've got, sorry, they've got Shady Demons and Teleon in hand. That's for sure. Right, I'm going to Peony anyway. And uh, get an Evo. Um, we could get a Hyper Potion in preparation. You know? Now, all right, big plane going over. I don't know if you hear it. Now, does Center Scorch V Max. I think it only accelerates fire, doesn't it? Yeah. Do I get that ahead of time or do I just try and get another peony later on? I think we get the hyper potion ahead of time. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. We won't use it now. We do need to get a mana fee though. Oh, maybe I should have got a, a quick ball. Oh, now that I think about it, I think that was a bit of a misplay. Tell you what, that ain't good. G Max Rapid Flow is going to come in and take this bad boy out. But then again, it's okay. It's all right. You know they can they can hit into this bad boy. We'll we'll, we'll hyper potion, bring the energy back into play. You know, I think that's a good way to go about it. We're hitting how much damage here? We're hitting um, oh. If we get hyper, if the training court stays in play, hyper potion, get the energy out, attach. We can one it KO. No, we can't one it KO the mantras. We can hit it, but it'll have to KO itself. Oh, but we can take the crowbat, which is a nice uh, gust option for us. Bring us down to three prizes. But then again, it's the mantras you're worried. I'm worried about. Really worried about that mantras. Now the Kishade is the on here. Get an Evo and an energy switch. I believe this deck does play energy switch. And obviously go for the rapid flow or just the uh, energy search. Either or, they're going to have a rapid flow this turn. But thankfully, funnily enough, our board state... Oh, maybe not. Our board state isn't uh, that good, which actually works in our favor. Because it means it can only technically take one prize this turn and we can heal off the other damage. So it actually works for us, which is pretty cool. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'm thinking, do we just hit the Urshi or... Oh, I don't know. Center Scorch can quickly get to a one-hit KO. Oh, are we not? Oh, we might be getting 100 Furious Blows, maybe. Okay, all right, that's that's different. That is different. But it does set up a Rapid Flow. It really does. All right, let's just, let's just heal this bad boy off a little bit more. There we go. So we've removed some of that mass, thank God. And just get the energy here and attach. And I think we... We could... Oh, do you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I could have just KO'd it. No, no, I think we're fine. Do I peony here or do I boss and just, just take the straight KO? I think we boss. The Sentinel Scorch isn't going down next turn. There's just no way it's going down, right? Take that out. Three prizes. The Moltres max at 170. Not enough to finish this off. Well, 200 actually. Max at 200. Um, this will max out at uh, 220 with a choice. 
and you could do yeah so there's no way they're going to get a ko on this center scorch next turn so i think we do take the boss play i think we do that we're just going to burn this evo and just go for another scissors see if we get a level um sorry quick ball or something okay ultra ball i will take i think we get rid of these two and then we get the manaphy down have the other hyper potion as well there we go so that is a 190 for the ko on the crowbat plus the energy attachment there that's lovely that's really good now what made center scorch really good at its time was welder i think welder was about if i'm correct i think welder was around when um center scorch was being played and that just made it ridiculously strong like insanely strong but that ain't about here so okay raihon back into deck all righty we can actually power pad ourselves. Maybe we could get Rose. We could Rose. That'd be kind of cool. A Hyper Potion Rose play because you can Hyper Potion and Rose the energy back on. That's a pretty cool concept, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's pretty solid. But either way, there's no KO on us this turn, which is really, really good. And could be worth just digging onto this Urshifu and hopefully... You know, taking that... They evolved to the VMAX, taking it out for game. But that's assuming they only evolved to the VMAX. And again, our Gust options are gone as well. So it's going to be very, very difficult to, to work around this deck now. We, we've got to take prizes where we can take them, I think. I think that's our best bet. Just take them where you can. Yeah, I think that's the best way to go. Especially now that we're probably going to have to discard this Central Scorch to draw. Oof, that would suck. Okay, so they have gone for the VMAX. Very interesting. Okay. Right. So, I'm going to put the big barrel up. I think the Manaphy is more important. There could be the, 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 the odd chance. Yeah, I was going to say the odd chance that they accidentally rapid flow, not realizing the Manaphy um, in play. But if you're playing this deck, you know what Manaphy does, innit? <laughs> you're not going to sit there and go, oh yeah, I could do it now. All right, let's power pads. We're going to go on a heavy discard here. I'm going to bring back my bosses. And then um, I'm just going to peony and get, what do I get here? Maybe a Hyper Potion. Hyper Potion might be the best shout, you know. Hyper Potion and a boss. I think that's the, I, I think that's a game winning combination. We have, we can't Hyper Potion now. Oh, we can actually hit a 190. Hyper Potion, Training Court, Attach, hit 190, and bring the energy back in, then we can boss for game. I think we do that, because it just it just makes it clear that they can't, like, they have to hit straight 320, you know? Yeah, we'll do this, we'll do this. The Hyper Potions are coming in clutch for this bad boy. Look at this. Wow, okay. I'm liking this. I am liking it. So that's, that's a 190. Energy back into play. Like nothing ever happened. Look at that. And then we have the boss in hand for game. They need to Marnie. They have to Marnie this turn. If they don't, it's pretty much a wrap. Yeah, I would not be shocked to see a Marnie play here. We do have one more boss in deck, but we did put the other one back. So there's still a chance we draw into it if they Marnie us. Which would be a very, very interesting outcome. But yeah. Bro, do you not have Marnie in deck? Did they not see? They did not see what was in my hand. Bro, when I peony, it shows to the opponent. So they know I've got a boss in hand. Unless they have a Marnie and they just got the research to put it to the bottom of the deck. But that makes no sense. Why would you do that? It's a research. There's no Marnie. There's currently no hand disruption. And I have the game winner in hand. Am I missing something? Or are they are they a bit caught up in all of it? Yeah, I, th I think... I, I don't know. That, that was 110% Marnie. Maybe they prized the Marnie. I know this deck, I think, only plays like one Marnie. Um, so maybe it was a prizing issue. You never know. But either way, we've gone and taken the dub against the big Urshif. It's a very tricky deck to play. So, you know, you've got to give it that. Right, so this hand's a bit of a yikesies. Um, but it's, it's playable. It's playable. That's what matters. It's playable.
probably go an ultra ball for a lot for the energy and the the escape rope's really good here yeah, it depends on what route i want to take here you know okay i'm gonna go for the slow burner play maybe then i might just uh I'm gonna ultra ball this and and maybe the I don't know what we're up against right now, so it's a bit difficult to really determine what cards are gonna be really important and what aren't. I'll get rid of the escape rope. And I want to get the center scorch. Because we'd have a center scorch V Max up next turn, but it'll only be doing like 60 damage. <laughs> so, well, actually, yeah, if it is if it's just doing 60 damage. Um, so I think we'd actually Bidoof here. Maybe I should have got rid of the turbo now and just attach the fire to the Moltres. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to pass. I don't think I played that very well. I don't think I played that good in the slightest, but it's all right. It's okay. It's calm, isn't it? You know what I'm saying? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, the neck hurts. I went to gym today. And I was doing this shoulder shoulder thing. My shoulders are getting a bit painful. But um, it's like a little machine thing. You sit and hold this, and then you go up like that. So it hurts to do that movement. And you kind of do this, right, to raise your shoulders. And um, my shoulders are absolutely killing me from that. <laughs> and then was it the other day? I um, I don't think you can see it now. But I did I did uh, leg day, right? And I don't know. I enjoy leg day. I don't know. I know it's kind of a meme, right? People not like a leg day. I actually quite enjoy my leg day. I don't lie. I do like it. Um, it, you do feel it, but I'm still feeling it today, and I did it on Friday. <laughs> Today's a Monday. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, and I was doing this, like, where you can work out your calves, and you kind of do these, you've got these shoulder pads on, and you've got weight, you hold on, and then you kind of, like, tiptoe up, and then go down and tiptoe up. And then, um, I think I did, I went a bit too heavy on them, because I start, I got, like, I popped loads of blood vessels up. <laughs> I know, a bit, it's not TMI, it'd be a TMI. But, um, anyway, I go gym, look at me. I'm special. Right. <laughs> oh, lordy lord. Hey, that's a set of scorch. Love that. Love that. Uh, we get to do a little 40 damage with the Inferno Wings because of that weakness. Oh, no, apparently I'm wrong. We don't hit for weakness because... English language. Lovely. So playing Salazzle, which um, actually has one hit KO potential, crazily enough. It's interesting that Salazar hasn't seen much play, even though it actually really has incredibly consistent damage output. You just have to be really um, sure that you can get the, the, the Salandis benched. But that really isn't... Is that really a problem for the deck? Like, is that actually an issue? You know? Okay. Honestly, I'll say this. I wanted to boss here first. See if we got the V-Max. But... I don't mind taking another turn of just 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 poking into that thing, you know. We need to get the VMAX before we can guarantee any sort of other play. Yeah, so that's fine. Yeah, we need we need to guarantee it out to VMAX. I didn't want to retreat this gust and then, you know, not hit the VMAX because then that would have been an awful play. That would just not would have not worked in the slightest. Yeah, in the slightest. In that case, I'm actually going to get rid of this double turbo now. It's kind of a dead card. Uh, Guru could be good here. Um. Yeah, we'll get a Guru. Guru's really good for saving some cards from the um, Peony. That's what I like. I am a big fan of that. And also, just get, let, let you see one extra card after a little in scissors. You know, I like that too. Speaking of, I think I'll actually do that. Yeah, that kind of sucks, doesn't it, really? I think we're just going to take this KO then. I mean, it's a prize. It's fine. They're taking a bit of time to set up. I'll take, I'll take my time as well, mate. You know what I mean? I'll take my time, geezer. No, no sweat. No sweat. We just got to hope they don't. Is this a turbo? Yeah, that's good. That means they can't hit one hit KO on this, I think. Because it's 270. Turbo brings it to 250. Choice belt makes it 280. So um, a turbo will not get a one hit KO on us and will allow us to go for the hyper potions. And if we get a double hyper potion, we just remove all of the damage, um, which is really good as well. And it's going to be very important in this matchup. Single prize matchup, you know. Single prize are hitting that much damage. Wow. Wowsy, wowsy, wowsy. But yeah, really uh, interested to see this not see any play. It's got the barrel for draw. But then here we are looking at it at brick. So there you go. There you go. 
really interesting that they're just breaking like this. Hmm. Yeah, maybe check their list afterwards and see what's going on. Maybe it's just one of them ones, you know? <laughs> Which just ain't working out for them. But it'd be nice to like revisit Salazzo at some point as well. Really see if we can really optimize the deck, you know? Really just big it out, you know? All right, let's could we get another energy in this car power here. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. And we will get ourselves the VMAX finally out and ready to play. And then we take up that Salander, and I, I would expect a scoop at that point, you know? We'd be too far ahead in the price trade. It, it just wouldn't be... It wouldn't make any sense for them to, to keep playing. At least, you know, my expectations. Okay, let's get the boss on top of the deck in case we do get Marnied. And we need it. And the Magma Basin, beautiful. So we can Magma Basin onto this as well. Um, or maybe I should have retreated the Moltres and Magma onto that. That might have been a better move. Oh, well. Yeah, in fact, that probably is a better move. But that's assuming they don't scoop here. You know? And uh, to be honest, I'd rather them not scoop. Because I like playing full games. You know? You never know how things are going to go. You never know. So you don't always just scoop. All right. GMAX Interferno. There we go. So that is a 140. And then it goes up to a 180. Oh, the turbo does throw the maths off a little bit sometimes, doesn't it? Am I correct? So 140, and then, yeah, 180 on top afterwards. Attached, that is 220. Oh, no, it doesn't throw it off that badly, actually. I was thinking 210, like a choice belt, but no. 180 plus choice belt is 210, but if you throw another energy on top, it's 220 plus choice belt is 250, and then another is 290. So, okay, it doesn't throw it off too much, but you need a bunch of energy to really make it hit those numbers, you know? And th then again, we can, tur we can, we can hyper potion away the double turbo energy, which is really the great thing to do. Just hyper potion them away, attach, boom, you're off, you know? That's where it's really about. Or what it's really about. Where? Where it's about? Who's where? Where? What? <laughs> Alright, they're not scooping though. I'll give them kudos for that. I'll give them huge kudos for just, just hanging hanging on. And I almost just want to like give them a hand. <laughs> but, but, hey, I've got to show this deck off. I've got to show what it can do. Uh, why did I hyper potion now? I'm an idiot. I'm actually stupid. I don't know what I'm doing there. Oh, well, let's get the Bidoof up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call, call me arrogant, but I think we're okay. I think we're cool. Get the bosses back. Man, I actually quite like Powerpad in, in a, in a Babaro deck. It's quite cool. Scissors. Keep drawing. Keep drawing. And, oh, look at that little peony as well. Uh, probably protect the... In case Amani comes in again, probably protect the peony. There we go. Come up with Basin, but nah. I'm building up this Scorchy. Actually, do you know what? It's probably fair that I Magma Basin to Moltres, I think. I think we'll do that and just... We're hitting... We're hitting like, I'm, I'm getting greedy, mate. We don't need to hit more than 240. So we don't even need to hit more than... What's the max damage? I think uh, Salazzle's 120, is it? And that's 130 for the... Yeah, we don't need to hit more than 120. So we don't need more than free energy on this thing. So I am going a little overboard. So I need to I need to start realizing those things as well. Like figure actually figure out the maths. What's the max damage output I need to hit for the matchup, so I can make the most use out of the energy and spread them out effectively. That's really what I should be doing. I'm just not, because <laughs> I'm a greedy boy. I like me greedy now. Now here's one thing: hyper potion. I don't think removes special conditions, right? It does not. So it will not remove any burnout or anything like that. Now, funnily enough, I can just come in with a. With a mad play here. It's a mad play. But it's a play. You know, I could just retreat and rose. Manually, a bit hard retreat. Free energy in a discard pile. Rose two energy on. You know what I'm saying? Hard retreat. Boom, boom, boom. I could attach the double turbo, maybe. I could do that. I'm trying to think a little bit. Is it worth attaching the turbo? No, because it, it's not going to do anything for us, is it? We don't need to. So, this is going to be a harsh discard, but I'm going to rose here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to rose here. Screw it, let's do it, man. Get it out of the way. Rose up, mate. Rose up. There we go. Lovely stuff. Two energy on that. Empty hands. And we can just draw more cards. Look at this. Love it. And there's that boss we saved. Energy attack. Okay, we're playing a Larkius deck Lightning with Sharon's Care. Um, it seems like a Coco. An Arceus Coco deck, which is interesting. 
Very, very interesting. Coco does the 180 plus paralysis if you're behind on prizes. Um, really, really cool concept, just not the right format for it, unfortunately. It's always been an interesting for, uh, concept, but just giving away prizes is never the best idea because what they usually do is electrode and give away prizes. But I, I, I might be I, I might be just jumping to conclusions here. It might be uh, Arceus Boltons. That deck has seen a bit of play. Um, pretty much as people say, Arceus anything is going to be good. Okay, Raichu. Yeah, this deck has definitely seen play. So Raichu's out there just doing big, big numbers. Arceus accelerate into it like it's nobody's business, mate. Like it's nobody's business. So it does 60. 60 multiplier. Uh, 6, 12, 12, 40, choice belt, 2, 70. One more energy on top of that would equal a one hit KO on things. So it really makes sense why. But even then, that's six times. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six times five is not enough to take a one hit KO, right? That's 250. Or is it 300? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, no, I was correct. No, 30. No, I was wrong. <laughs> Me, idiot. I'm trying to do mathematics. Okay, so I don't know why they got the sad face. Maybe they just don't have a good hand. Hey, same here, love. Look at this. Monstrosity. Absolute monstrosity of a hand. But uh, it is a hand that shall be played nonetheless. Maybe I'll do an escape probe here just to kind of force a gust. Man, it sucks that I ain't got a... Uh, Yeah, it it it, uh, it does. It sucks that I can't get a, um, a Bidoof down this turn. So I'm gonna P and E, and it's just gonna be for what, you know? Let me just kind of top decking out of things. It feels awful. I can P and E for a quick pull, put it down. I ain't got level one in this deck, so I can't just level. Okay. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna pass hard pass there. It, it, that that doesn't feel good in the slightest. But um, oh wait, that's why they were sad. They they did they wait? Did they play the boost shake or not? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Also, boost shake, really interesting concept. We discussed that on stream. You know, it really can um. Amplify your Arceus turn one when you're playing an Arceus deck because Arceus turn one does nothing, right? It's attached pass, basically. That's what an Arceus deck is. Attach, attach pass turn one. That's your Arceus turn. Um, so having things like, you know, like when I played my um, uh, Aegis Slash deck, which was so good, having an Intrepid Sword on a Zassian turn one on top of the Arceus plate, it just boosts it, right? Having those options is really good, turn one. Like these um, ability, uh, turn ending abilities or turn ending things um, are starting to see some plays in, in decks. Like you see Zassian V playing in Whimsicott because obviously, uh, is it Riley Hobber? He's the one who got the um, top 16 with that deck. His and Mahomes, I think this. And some other people as well that don't bring to mind. But they put like a Zassian V in their deck, which is interesting, right? Because obviously turn one, going first, you just, you need to get the energy player in Whimsicott to make it work. We just got Ruin there. Um, but... Okay, so, let's actually get into focus on the game now, and start popping off a little bit. I do like this hand, that's for sure. This hand's quite nice, uh, except we don't have draw outs next turn, so we've got to be a bit... I think a Guru is, 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 is the best shout here, and then we... Um, God forbid there's no fan of waves in this deck. <laughs> well, Primate Wisdom, um, the fire energy, I guess. It doesn't really matter, does it? Just need to get something decent here. Okay, nothing great, unfortunately. So, a little bit of a whiff. I mean, it's, it's good enough to have most of our pieces down, but still no effective out to a barrel, which is really the, uh, the the issue here. Honestly, I think even a, a Luminion in this deck might be a shout. If you're going to get turns like these um, regularly, maybe a Luminion just to guarantee that um, turn one, or oh, sorry, turn two Peony. Uh, or turn one going second peony or, or or Marnie or whatever you want to do. You know, just having that option isn't isn't that bad. It really isn't, is it? Okay, that said, let's see how we do. Um, I guess we'll put the I want the fire energy for attachment this turn. It's got a discard energy option, so it's really not that bad shout, is it? Alright, let's just radiant heat. We'll get rid of the turbo, it doesn't really mean anything, does it? Get that out of there. 
Wait, what? Why did the damage go? Oh, the turbo energy! <laughs> what a waste! <laughs> what an absolute waste of a turn that was! <laughs> What on earth? Yeah, let me just do that little 20 damage and just dis all I've done is just discard my turbo. That's all I've done that turn. <laughs> oh my god. I need to understand this game a bit more than I. <laughs> I'm a donut. I really am. I really am stupid. Anyway, Evo Incense. Are we going to see a rapid flow this turn? Most likely so. Could be a little scoop up. Artillery, okay. Or maybe just a Gale Thrust. We'll see, we'll see. There's the Urshi, so they definitely got a retreat option, right? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. There we go, scoop up. And they can energy search and rapid flow, and that would be devastating. Absolutely devastating. And assuming they play Karina's Focus, they can do this without worrying about the consistency turn after. Oh, no, they're going to Ambition. For five. Oh, they had the energy anyway. Wow. Okay. What a busted turn this is. They're going to get to Rapid Flow, the Bidoof, and the Center Scorch. And at that point, we, you know, we're ruined. No, they're going to Gale Frost. I don't think that was the play, mate. Because you've given us another turn here to try and top deck our way out. It doesn't even matter, though, does it? On the Hyper Potion, the Turbo away. And just go for a Radiant Heat for 50. It does discard my energy, but it discards theirs and locks off the Rapid Flow play. Except... I am actually going to ditch the fighting. Because they have a, an artillery, of course, they can just search to... Oh, it's kind of pointless anyway. They can just search for a rapid energy, just attach and go anyway, yeah. I guess that's true. Yeah, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? That really sucks. Okay, so ditto. Love that. Absolutely love that. Let's go for the energy attachment. I think that's better than getting the energy in a discard pile um, because we can evolve and then we just need to get the energy from that point on. Still haven't included the energy search. I'm special. I have serious mental problems because I can't remember the thing I said I was going to do about five minutes ago, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, double, 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 double. I don't think that was English. I don't think that was any language. <laughs> All right, what are we playing against here? Ditto is played in Arceus oftentimes as a pseudo V card, right? I think if I'm correct, the V, uh, thank God they failed that crushing hammer. The V is, once you tell you, may choose a basic V from your discard pile switch. Now, uh, I'm sure this question has been answered and I think it has been and I think I know the answer, but I'm going to ask it again just to be sure. If I'm correct, the D Ditto, once switching, can evolve into the Pokemon that can evolve from it that turn, correct? So let's say if you have a Ditto and then you use an Arceus V and then you, you switch it with the Arceus V, can you then evolve it to a V-Star? I think you can. I think that does apply, right? Any attached cards count as special conditions turns it turns in play. Ah, that's the wording. So if I'm correct, other turns in play and other effects remain. So Ditto, if Ditto has two turns in play, it still remains. So you can evolve the new card. I think so. I would love to try an Arceus Ditto deck. That actually seems really fun. And just have like, oh my god, this looks so, this sounds so sick. Okay, I've got it in the head. I'm saving it in the head now. <laughs> I've got a cool idea at hand, bro. That sounds fun. I've got to get me some Dittos. It sounds stupid, but fun. And I love that. I love stupid and fun. 
Incredible stuff. All right, let's get our mid battle and go for any other playable card. I think the choice belt is the no-brainer, really, isn't it? Again, really wish I had the energy search because there's, there's going to be times. This may be the second time in this video where I don't get an attack off because we whiff that turn two energy attachment. Um, I'll have to see. But this is what the turbo is supposed to be here for. All right, we've done it anyway. So no more complaining, Sean. Get over it. Let's do that 120, 150, I think. Yeah, 150. Lovely stuff. Beautiful stuff. And uh, this ditto can actually become an Arceus V if it wants to. But I'm, in, I'm actually intrigued as to what they have in this deck um, with this Ditto. They could have a variety of Vs and Vmaxes, you know. You could have uh, Blastoise, you could have Inteleon, you could have um, the other Inteleon, you could have Suicune, you could have Ice Rider. There's so many cards you could just throw in a deck, I guess, which would be quite interesting. But it's only basic V, so we can't... Mm, I don't know. Anyway, they're going to V-Star Power, and that will kind of say a lot, I think. But, bearing in mind, they need something on the bench to draw, man. They've got zero card hands, so they, uh, they'll they probably just get, uh, get a, a research or something on top of whatever they've got. Maybe put a doof down on research. That might be the way to go. Oh, no, they're going for the choice belt. And there's the research. All right. Really glad I saved that Hyper Potion. Really glad I saved that Hyper Potion there. Salamence. Okay. All right, 30 damage to each opponent's Pokemon. Honestly, Supercross, that seems cool. That seems really cool. I've got an idea for that one as well. God, so many ideas, man. Arcus just opens up every door. Like, imagine Officer Ditto VMAX, okay. Um, now, what does that do? Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon to attack, use it this attack. Okay, active Pokemon. Okay, that's, that's also interesting. Which means your, your Ditto's doing nothing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it is doing nothing. I'm sorry, buddy. It ain't happening. <laughs> right. Salamence seems interesting. Throw a cable toughness in there. Add a bit of tankiness to it. You could do telescopic sight for extra damage output, but oh, you could do telescopic sight, and then you could do that 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 stadium that reduces the damage done to it by 20, and that could be good maths um, fixing. All right. I'm 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 theory crafting in a video where I shouldn't be. I should be playing. <laughs> Do I play the Magma? Uh, yeah, why not? I don't think there's any reason to go against it, is there? Um, do I Oranguru save? Yes, I Oranguru you away. Let's see what we get. All right. Um, Ultra Ball. That seems like a good Ultra Ball turn, I think. And I'm going to get the Manaphy. Where's the Manaphy? The Manaphy's prized. Oh, no. The Manaphy. Ah! I need you, Manaphy. I need you now, mate. Come on. That sucks. That really sucks. Okay. Let's peony. And let's get ourselves... We could get an escape probe and... A float stone. Hit into this ahead of time. Oh, we could do that. Or do we hit the Arceus? There's no way we can get two energy onto this Sentinel Scorch this turn. So my max damage output is only 190 right now. Which will KO this, but they're not going to put that up. They'll put the Salamence of Ice Escape Rope. So in that case, it's better off to do the Hyper Potion play, isn't it? It really is just better to do that, I think. And then maybe get a Pow Pad. What's in our discard pile? Yeah, I think a Pow Pad. I think that's the way to go. Oh, issue is, though, I cannot Hyper Potion yet unless I find a double turbo. Oh, I cannot Hyper Potion here. All right, here's the next play. I'm going to do this. We're going to attach. We're going to Hyper Potion the active. Oh, I'm so big brain. And then we'll escape probe. There we go. <laughs> Took me a second, but I had to just look at the hand and realize the play, in, the, play, the play that we had available. There we go. And we just need to find that mana fee. That's good. So we're, doing, we're only doing 120, granted. But I think we escaped a very sticky situation there, luckily. Just because of that magma basin coming in clutch, bro. Allowing us to attack. So, And then we can obviously put the energy back into play with the attack. That'll boost it to 160. And then, obviously, we'll have the KO on the Salamence. It's a shame, though. It's a shame. I really want to see that Manaphy 
But this, to be fair, the Salamence might only survive this one turn, so it's fine anyway. They might get one sweep across, which could sort some mass out, I guess, to a degree. I don't know if it does that much, but... Uh, easy, easy, either way, either way. I still got the two bosses, though, so you're sitting there. You're a sitting duck, mate, you. Look, you're sitting blob. Beautiful. Love the blue one. Anyway, sitting duck, mate. You're going to be sitting there and getting an absolute walloping. Oh, you're going to go for the heavy storm. They might even get the VMAX out, but I think it does 240. Still not a KO range. No, they're just going to go for the heavy storm. All right. I guess it makes sense. We can't heal this turn. We have prize, a hyper potion, which sucks so much. But it's fine. It's okay. It's all good, man. Let's scissors. And see what we get. So here's an interesting concept. We could... We could magma base into this and do a hard retreat. It does suck, but... We, it, it's possible, and it keeps us alive. It let it, it, it throws a... It, it throws a... Oh, God, I'm just trying to think. The choice belt on it. <sighs> yeah. I it forces them to take a single prize KO, right? It seems like it makes sense, doesn't it? Attached to this one. Manually retreats. That's 100 damage. More, actually. 110, I think. No, yeah, 110. We can boss, but we don't need to. That We can save that for this ditto. So I'm going to scissors and then... Put the boss in hand, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Could thin. I'm going to thin the hand down. Do I get you? Yeah. And then I Primate Wisdom this to the top of the deck. So if we get Marnie, we can at least have the boss. Well, oh, speaking of the devil, there's a Marnie. In fact, we could Marnie them. That could be big. Okay, I'm going to Marnie. I know, I know this kind of goes against my original plan because now I have the boss in hand and it could get marnie out. I think it's fine. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. We've got the KO with the Moltres. And then we can come up with a fresh... Oh, it's 120. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I can't do mathematics. I cannot do the math stuff. Yeah. And if we get a hyper potion, we can heal this up. Now, now I kind of wish I threw a shell in here because we could just shell all this off, right? And just get rid of it all. But, you know, this isn't really the way I'm, you're, we're looking to play the center scorch. But it's good to know we can. So maybe a one-off shell could work. And they're going to go for that KO there. Fair play to them. Fair play to them. But we have the boss response. We just have to see if they bench it. They do. That's really good. So I was really worried about having to KO this and this. That would have been really difficult. But now they've got this down. Uh, granted, they can get us another Salamence, which it looks like they're going to do. We can gust up that Salamence and uh, take it out afterwards, right? Because I think the amount of energy we'd have in play would, would, would work out. I think it makes sense. I think it does. Oh, they're going for an Arceus. Could no, we we gust this bad boy up and we take it out. Now, they could V Max that as well though. That's the thing. Okay, let's throw up the bit barrel. We have to take prizes this turn because we have hyper potion the prize and hyper potion could really just win us the game. So I think, I think that's the motive. I think that's the move. I don't think we magma base into this to this boy right now. Although we could magma base in, that'll bring us to 190. Would get us a KO on. Oh, we kind of have to. We have to magma base in. Because we don't KO the ditto otherwise. We're hitting 160 as it stands. 150. We have to. Oh, that could really backfire. Oh god, that sucks. Do we Moltres? I think I've played this so wrong, people. I really have. I shouldn't have Magma Base in there. Because now it's sitting there waiting to get KO'd. Right? It's just that's just a boss KO away now. And I've made that happen. I was intending to attack with Center Scorch, but what I should have done is not Magma Base in, just come up with the Moltres, take a poke. Uh, at something. We could even, you know, gust this up 
hit it with the Moltres. It's not going to KO it. But we have the other boss available to finish it off. Could boss up this Arceus V and hit it. But the sooner I take prizes, the better. And the closest route to prizes is this Ditto. So I think we do that. They've only played one boss though, that's the thing. Yeah, I think I've done it wrong. I've just let this thing sit here now and it's going to have to sit here for another turn at least on our opponent's side and they, they can find the boss. So uh, Amani could be good here as well, but they get, they've Amani themselves, so they didn't have the boss in hand, which is good, but there's, there's even more chance now that they're going to have it. I just wish I could look at their hand, you know, and just go, right, they've got the boss and he's getting Amani and get rid of it, <laughs> you know, but we have the boss here. Which means we can respond, but it's just that. <sighs> man, man, that really sucks. What damage? You have 50. We do have a play at hand here. But no, no, I don't think. I think we've just lost, unfortunately. The Arceus is just going to tear through us. Really going to tear through us. Do we have Rose? Do we have Rose? Oh, we have Rose. I still think it's not it. We do have Rose. Okay. You're getting KO'd. You're getting KO'd if you come up. I might have to sit inactive for a turn. And again, hope they ain't got the boss. We just need to find those prizes. I could get another fresh Center Scorch out. Yeah. Oh, God, I'm doing this so backwards. It actually hurts my brain to think about all this. <laughs> what am I doing? I can't come up with that. I just cannot. There's a rose there. Look at that. A Rose would probably get me KO on this, but I, 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 it would just sit there and get KO'd by this for game. So I can't do that. I have to... I didn't mean that. I meant to attach to the bleeding... Be... Yeah! <laughs> I swear to God. Right. Oh. All right, let's just um, scissors here. It's all going wrong, people. It's all going south. It's going wrong in every plausible way. Rose, save you. I know, shuffles the deck, I get it. But we're drawing cards, we're thinning out. I could gust at a ditto again. Um, I could gust at a ditto. They'll manually retreat though, so it doesn't really matter, does it? And the boss could be a game winner for us. I kind of, I kind of only want to gust this with the guaranteed KO. I think we pass. I think we just pass here. Yeah, it's looking dire. I would not be shocked to see a boss come down. Not in the slightest, but. Okay, so I don't... Okay, another Marnie. So that's a good sign. But unfortunately, we did get marnie out of our center scorch. But again, you know, we, we have so much draw. We're definitely going to see a center scorch. No way. And we're running out of cards, though. That's the thing I'm worried about. Crushing hammer. This is do or die, people. Right, I'm going to promote this one because I can manually retreat it. And I want to attack with this one. Okay. What do we do here? What do we do here? What do we do? I need to play cards down. Attach. Escape rope.
¿Ya? So you can retreat now. Then we... Scissors. I need to find the VMAX, obviously, because we can't rose until we get the VMAX out. That is such a big hit. I think we have one more out here with the Primate Wisdom. Oh! We need the VMAX. No! No, I think that's it. I think I think that's done. I think that's finished. We can't rose to it. We can only rose to this one. Rose is attached it to your V Max. It won't attach to the center scorch. Now, granted, we can come up with the center scorch and do some damage, but it's not enough. It's not enough to see through the game. It's not enough to see through the game. I'm going to try anyway. Rose to this one. I'm going to do Rose Tower. Wow, we wouldn't even got it then. It was actually like at the bottom. I know I'm Marnie, but Marnie's like shuffle. The last card in my deck is the one I needed to win. Behave! Get out of it! All right, screw it. I'm attacking you with my full force. Oh, I can't even do it. I can't even retreat. Why? I've got an air balloon on. I've retreated for turn. Okay, I'm done. Bye bye. See you later. <laughs> Deadless in the description. If you want to play it, definitely do so. Obviously, this is just me being terrible at the games, having to do with the deck. So, but yeah, try it out for yourself. Have some fun. I'm going to go and um, 